Welcome to Touch and Fetch. Hey guys, welcome to Touch and Fetch. Today I am going to show you about iOS 14 update and the new features we can use it in the new update. Now my current iOS version is 13.7. Now getting updated to a new version which is iOS 14.0. The total update size of iOS 14.0 is 2.73 GB and compatible with these devices that is from iPod Touch 7th generation to iPhone 11 Pro Max. After downloaded, your device will unpack this software. Then your device will be rebooted for installation of software. After successfully rebooted, you will see your device as new boot up of iOS. Then your iPhone has been updated to iOS 14.0. Then swipe up to complete all the iPhone analytics and apps analytics to share with Apple. After finished all the setup, swipe left. There you will see the battery options, weather, screen time and you can add anything you wish on the top left corner. Then swipe right at last page you will see app library. The new app library automatically organizes all your apps into one simple, easy to navigate view. Apps are sorted by category and your most used apps are always just one tap away. If you have so many application pages, you can hide it from long pressing the home screen. Then on down, you will see the navigation dots, click on it. After you will see all your pages. Then you can unselect the page which you don't need. Next new application has been installed that is Translate. In this app you can enable a fully offline experience for Translate. Use all the app features for downloaded languages. Another good feature is Backtap. Go to settings, scroll down you will see the option accessibility, click on it. There you can see touch select it. Scroll down to last you will able to see back tap select it. Here you can change anything as per your wish in back tap. I have kept double tap is for lock and triple tap is for app switcher. Right now I am going to check how double tap is working. Next. We are going to check triple tap is working or not. It's both working perfectly fine. So coming to conclusion, iOS 14.0 is very good in all features. Thanks for watching our video. We have more interesting topics in upcoming videos. So stay tuned, do subscribe and share our channel. Thank you.